What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We just got to the coffee stand and it's bright and early. It is 4.45 a.m. in the morning. I've got a lot to show you guys since I've last showed you guys the coffee stand. We have painted the exterior of the coffee stand. So I want to show you guys what it looks like. We've got an AC in the coffee stand now. The whole outside of the stand looks completely different. I'm just gonna jump into the video. Excuse me on how tired I am this morning. I am still half asleep. I need a Lotus Energy ASAP. By the way, I'm driving the BRZ today. This is what it looks like, you guys. It's 10 million times better. We have our signs up now. Show you guys what the signs look like. All the special coffees are up at the top. It just looks so much cleaner. I think I'm gonna paint, we just got the AC put in. I think I'm gonna have to paint that tubing, the wiring, the AC unit, the lights we got working back there. This side looks way better just because there's not a lot going on over here. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So just getting into the stand, I'm actually running a smidge bit late this morning. I kept on forgetting to do stuff, but oh, our AC that we just got put in. So the outside unit, it's a mini split unit. So it is an AC unit and also a heating unit, which will be really nice because in the winter time we had freezing issues. All we had was this tiny little heater over here. So I'm excited to have this for summer and winter. And it's supposed to get really hot this week, like upper 90 degree weather. So that's gonna be really nice to have. But you guys, I'm gonna finish opening up the stand. I have to get this place open by 5 a.m. And then I will get back to you when my little sister Jamie gets here to work with me. Look who decided to show up. What are you drinking this morning? Strawberry coconut kiwi red bull. Ooh, do a little taste test. Oh, it's so, so sweet and so sugary. I don't drink sugar ever. But don't so. lie, you like it. I, I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, hold on, I'm gonna, I need to make a lotus, you guys. It's um, almost two hours later since I said I was gonna make a lotus and I haven't had one yet because it's been busy. Frick, there's a customer coming. You better get to going. <laughs> I'm gonna do not a skinny one, I'm doing a regular one this morning. Wow, you're naughty. Can you believe it? I'm gonna get a pimple. It is so bright. Oh, it's Dan. I love Dan. Are we doing the Irish cream caramel? 32. Okay. Two of them? Okay. Three Irish cream caramel? Yes. Uh, quad shots okay in there? Okay. Anything else today? It has been about six hours later and I just got back to the house, obviously, and I got to round up my cats and that one all the way over there because they're both getting shaved today. Coda hates getting into the car. Bane loves it. So let's see what I can do. The view in here. <laughs> As you guys can see, Coda, by the way, he hasn't been on the channel for a while. Coda, calm down. Oh, he's freaking out. <laughs> He hasn't been shaved for a while. Usually he's kind of used to the car, but it has been a minute. He gets shaved like a lion and same with her too. They both have like that long fur that when it gets hot like this, they just shed everywhere. Or I wouldn't shave them because I like the fluff that they have on them, but it's a mess in the house. So we got to get him shaved. One hour later. Couple hours later, and we got Coda. Oh, Bean's climbing around again. Handsome boy. The next morning. I am headed to the shop right now, and we're gonna be working on Gary, my STI, my series gray STI. I never really explained what was wrong with it, but we had some type of clutch issue. The the type R has been on the lift for forever, so I wasn't able to get any of my cars back. My Evo's been down as well. 
and today he texted me and he was like, let's work on your STI today. So I'm gonna go to the shop. We're gonna work on the STI. I think a new clutch showed up and guys, we might have new wheels for my STI, which I'm excited to show you guys. A little new setup for the STI. There's not really much to do to that car, so I think changing wheels was a good call. I haven't actually seen them yet in person. I'm really excited to drive Gary again. I haven't been in the car game for a while just because, well, I've been driving, like I'm so blessed to be able to drive Devin's cars, but there's something, I don't know, I just love my own stuff. And you guys know I own the STI and the Evo and they're my own two babies that I haven't got to drive in a very long time. So I am going to head to the shop in the E92 M3 and I'll see y'all there. All right, we just got to the shop. I should probably update you guys on what Devin's been working on if you don't follow him. Hello and welcome to my garage. Tell us what you got that going on. kind of gay. <laughs> this is a car that I'm building. Tell us Probably more. Three or four months now. It is a 2021 Civic Type R. When I bought this, am I allowed to cuss in your channel? Yeah. Good shit. When I bought this bitch. Um, not that, not that much. Not that much. The whole front end is completely smashed in. I rebuilt it. Drove it for a week. Tore it all back apart. Put a K24 in it. This car's all wheel drive. First one in the world. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's gonna work. Good. Is that a good update? Good stuff. Also, I got my nice Serbski here, so. Sheesh, that is pretty nice. If you guys aren't watching him already on his channel, DV Mimola, go and watch him because it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Yep. <laughs> I haven't told you guys about Gary because... I'll explain. The car is having massive, it's like clutch drag, clutch lockout issues. It's not worn and uh, like slipping. It's the opposite. It's like locking you out of every gear no matter what, no matter how much you adjust it, the bitch locks you out and it drags like a son of a bitch. Yeah, and the new clutch we're putting in is ACT and it, it will hold more power than the one that we have now. That's why I haven't been driving Gary for what? It's been like two, three months. Just show you guys what Gary looks like now if you haven't been on the channel for a while. She looks a little different. We got a carbon hood on it, new headlights, a big wang on it if you guys haven't seen that. But the main thing is, it is very, very dirty. So I'm actually gonna give Gary a quick wash and then we'll get that thing off the lift. doing three things to it today. We are changing the wheel entire setup. Currently, I run... Ford Star CF5 V19 by 10. Thank you very much, Devin. What's the tire size? Ricer by Rice 30 series. Skirt all over the road when you try to do a pole gay. Okay, so with that being said, we are going with a thicker tire setup. Devin's these are 275, 35. My car is also being lifted up a tad bit because it is a little too low. And no, probably fixing, right, to be honest. Huh? We already released it like a couple months ago, remember? But the tires are gonna rub. They're 18s. Oh. And they're not gonna stick out far. Okay. We gotta ditch the camber. It's gonna be like kind of set like my 10. That's that's good. Glizzy. Um but can you explain what snapped on the yellow speed coils that I'll we have? Show them. Watch this. Okay. So I've always had yellow speed coils on here and recently something snapped in half and things were getting a little unsafe. We have, I think Devin said these are silvers that we're gonna run on the car. Also, I compl I totally thought Devin ordered TEs for this car, but he ended up ordering rays for this car, which are my, it's what I run on my Evo. Devin runs it on pretty much every Evo. 57XR. And you guys look at how beautiful these are. I am so excited for the new setup. I love TEs, but I feel like every single person runs them. 
So I'm excited to be running the Rays. All right, Devin, show us what the heck is up. You ready for this? Yeah. So you guys can see right there, it's cracked. And then we just discovered, That's a move it around, show us how it moves. That's not supposed to happen. There's also another crack on the other side. So we gotta get these switched out and get some. These little fuckers. This is what the silvers look like. They're not, Devin. Just a nice, good, solid stick. I think we're running out of time tonight to do everything. So I actually might pick this up in the morning and we'll get everything else finished. But I think we're just gonna put these on the car and then call her a night. So I will see you guys bright and early. Morning guys, we just went by Boosted Coffee, my coffee stand. I forgot to record because for some reason I thought my camera was left at the shop. But I found it in uh, my purse. So I am in Devin's truck. I dropped him off at the shop this morning. He wanted to clean up the shop before we got started on my car again. So I went and got him some coffee. He gets a white chocolate Americano. This is a triple shot uh, with whipped cream in the bottom mixed in with the shots and a little splash of cream on top. It's super good. And then I got a Diet Pink Lotus with cream. I mean, it's pretty predictable. What's up, Pink? Just seeing what you're doing. You sure? I'm good, thank you. Why? I like to watch. There. Comment down below. What do you guys think about the new wheel, tire, and height setup? New get up. Get up, the new get up. I personally like it a lot. I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier to drive this thing around. It's not gonna be like a stance boy car, it's gonna be more like a race car. <laughs> But I really like it. What do you guys think? Comment down below on the new wheels, tires. We decided that the APR wing, I mean, I like it. I actually do really like it, but everybody keeps giving me shit about it, so. It looks stupid now. You have to have your car set up, but the Evo looks good. Yeah. It's set up for the wing. This looks like you bought a Duramax, but a, a 12 inch lift on it and left everything else stock. So yeah. Wheels, stock tires. Agreed. Stock cock. It doesn't match the vibe anymore. So we're gonna put the stock wing back on it, which I'm excited for. I'm more of a stock wing type of person anyways. It's the next day and I was gonna end the video out in the previous clip, but I thought I'm just gonna let you guys in on a little insight. I'm super excited about it. I haven't shared it at all and neither has Devin, but Devin and I talked about it the other day and he was like, have you shared the news with your channel yet? And I'm like, no, I didn't think we were supposed to. So Devin has owned property in the country area for a while now and we have always been debating back and forth if we want to build on that land about six months ago Devin and I decided that we wanted to build on the land and we decided we're gonna be doing a shop house and Devin told me you're in charge of designing the whole interior exterior everything and as long as I I think it's fine and there's a lot of shop space and I'm okay with it so for the last like two-ish months I've been in contact with architects and contractors and does I'm trying to design my Pinterest is crazy like I'm just trying to get ideas and so yeah I am so excited to get that process going we're gonna do a steel building so far we're sticking with a 60 by 140 but we might end up going bigger because Devin keeps on thinking that he needs more shop space. He might run out of shop space, but the land is 15 acres. Maybe it's more. It's either 15 or 18 acres. We have started the process. We're just waiting on an architect to get back with some designs and then we'll order the steel structure and the steel structure probably won't be here until the fall. So I don't think the building process will get started until next year, but I definitely am gonna share that whole process with you. 
I am so excited. I know Devin's excited because we really are tired of renting. We're in a house now and we're renting that property and we've always rented apartments and stuff and we're just ready to be on our own, on our own property and it's out in the country. It's exactly what we wanted. Now, this doesn't mean we won't move somewhere else eventually or have like different houses in different areas because that's what we've always talked about, but that's the news. Comment down below on what you guys think. If you guys want me to share that process with you, I definitely will. It's gonna be a fun one, especially designing the whole house. So I wanna say the house is is gonna be around 2,000 square feet and the, there's also gonna be a loft in the house that'll probably add in another like 500 square feet. So the house is like a normal sized house. It's not gonna be huge, but the shop portion is gonna be gigantic, which Devin and I both agreed. Like we both don't need a huge house right now. We don't have kids. We don't have kids yet. <laughs> and then he just needs like a ton of space for all of his cars. Sorry, it's really hot in here right now. That is the update. I'm actually gonna close out the video here. Comment down below. Remember, hit the like button, subscribe button, and I swear the next video will not take me as long as it did to get this one out. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.